Well, James Harrison stirring the pot a little bit in the Steel City. Of course, retired. A little flashback, though, for you. Back in 2010, Harrison said he received an envelope from head coach Mike Tomlin, which was supposed to cover a fine of $75,000 for a hit against Browns receiver at the time, Muhammad Massaqua. Well, Harrison, the Steelers' all-time career leaders in sacks, went into details on an interview saying, the GS thing Mike Tomlin ever did, he handed me an envelope after that. I'm not going to say what, but he handed me an envelope. And I hit that man with about 50% of what I had. If I knew they were going to fly me 75000 probably not the best choice of words, I would have tried to kill him. <laughs> well, the Steelers, of course, not staying quiet on this one. Art Rooney II responding to Harrison on this quote saying, I'm very certain nothing like this ever happened. I have no idea why James would make a comment like this, but there is simply no basis for believing anything like this. Yikes. All right, let's bring in our Danny Cannell here on HQ this morning. DK seems like Harrison um, saying Tom had kind of pulled off a Frank Lucas move there. Art Rooney denying that. Your response to this, did you believe either side in this one? Oh, without question, I believe James Harrison. This type of stuff has gone on for ages in the NFL. And I would say most good coaches would do that for their best players on their team. And whether you disagree with the hit or not, whether you say, hey, it was a dirty hit or not, it's just part of the game of football and part of the underbelly that fans probably want to deny and that the NFL itself wants to go away as much as possible. But these types of payments under the table, cash payments to make up for fines has gone on for a long, long time. I played with a guy, I will not tell you who it was, but he told me directly and I saw the cash in his hand that our coach had paid. Now his hit wasn't as egregious, it was a little more ticky tack and it wasn't as big of a deal but he was absolutely paid to cover the cost of the fine. So this stuff goes on all the time. Plus, why would James Harrison make it up? He has no motive to make it up, but the Steelers have every motive to deny it happened. Sean Payne, of course, uh, actually reacting to Harrison's comments there, saying don't hold your breath on the league investigating. Of course, responding to the 2012 bounty gate he dealt with, chances we see the league actually investigate this a little bit. I would agree with Sean Payton. I mean, it just seems like for them, you open up a whole can of worms that you probably don't want to go down. I mean, if you do, are you going to start uh, investigating every time a former player, you know, goes on a podcast and makes some claim, even though they may be true? I think it could open up a whole can of worms that the NFL doesn't want to go down. So I think the NFL will take the Steelers' Art Rooney at his word and say, you know what? probably didn't happen and move on and hopefully that it just kind of goes away and dies a quiet death because if they if they investigate it it could open up a whole Pandora's box that they don't want to go down. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.